Questions for Kyrie? First one, Dave right here on the left on two. Dave McBenham, ESPN. Kyrie, you had an aggressive game one, but missed some shots towards the end. And, and I think you were one for nine in, in possessions where it was out of pass. Uh, how, how do you maintain the balance between aggression personally and then staying within the frame of the team? Um, you know, you, you kind of just have to pick and choose your spots. Um, you know, watch as much film, but at the end of the day, um, I understand what my value is for this team in order to have an aggressive mindset um, and using my skills to the best of my abilities and going out there and trying to create shots for my teammates and also myself, um, especially if things aren't going the way we kind of want it to go. Um, you know, sometimes you just take it upon yourself to, to either get a um, – you know, a, a bucket in transition or a layup in the half court, but uh, attacking my matchup is what um, has really worked thus far. And I've I've talked to T. Lewin as well as LeBron over the last few days of of how um, you know how to attack better in game two in order to get um, in order for everyone to feel good. Um, you know, a few easy missed shots, a few layups in the paint that I missed, which which is okay, which I'm fine with. But I'm going to continue to have that aggressive mindset, but just like I said yesterday of echoing, uh, just being more efficient in those spots and where we are in transition and, and just being more efficient in those uh, opportunities. The the individual matchup between, you know, you had Reggie Jackson and Teague and Schroeder and, and Lowry throughout the first three rounds, but w what is the, the Steph Curry matchup like for you? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun um, because we know both teams are going to do everything possible to stop, you know, myself and him. So. Um, you know, both defenses are, are definitely designed to to kind of limit us of feeling comfortable. And, um, you know, a few times where, you know, me and him are playing one on one, you can see that help side is always going to be there. And, and guys are forced to make great plays, which is what it's about. You know, the people want to see that. And um, you just try not to get too much into the mental aspect of it, of, you know, me versus him, because it's not what it's about. You know, we wouldn't be here without our teammates. So, uh, but it's just awesome going against 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 a guy like that. Chris. Chris Hines, Cleveland.com. Kyle, how, how, is, how are these, you know, coming off of that loss? Has this been too much time, you know, for you guys? You feel, feel like, you know, you want to hurry up and get back out there, or is this much needed? Um, from a mental standpoint, it's a little too long. But from a physical standpoint, I mean, it's great just, you know, getting as much recovery. And I know the league wants to see everyone at the top of their games playing at the highest level, as healthy as they can be. So I don't really don't mind.